What's up Trophy Hunter, the summer sale in the PlayStation Store is huge. There are a lot of games, especially Easy Platinums. In this video I want to show you 15 Easy Platinums you probably missed. And no, I'm not talking about these easy, cheap 5 minute Platinums. They are real games and most of them are worth playing. So we're jumping right into it and the first game on my list is... The Pathless, if you buy the game you get the PS5 and the PS4 version. The game is an adventure game with puzzle platforming gameplay mechanics. The story can be completed in less than 10 hours. Just keep an eye on the trophies Sky Master and Storm Survivor, these are the only missable trophies. The second game is Martha is Dead, you will also get the PS5 and the PS4 version. It's a psychological horror walking simulator. Nothing is really missable because you can clean up everything via chapter select. The next one is Serious Sam 4, please keep in mind this one is only available on PS5. The entire game can be played on easy and nothing is missable. The game has more than 50 trophies and can be completed within 5 hours. There's a trophy called Get Serious where you need to spend 10 skill points. They can be found in levers but there's an easy trick to get this trophy real quick. At the main menu select Cooperative Classic Lever from Earth with Love, launch the game, press triangle to open the skill menu and spend all 10 points. So there is no need to find the skill point items in a lever. Next one is Cloud Punk, an adventure game set in a cyberpunk world. It's possible to get the platinum in less than 10 hours, but keep in mind there are 3 missable trophies. The story is pretty straightforward, so while you're progressing through it, you want to make sure that you get the 3 missable trophies. After you complete the story, you'll still be able to roam around the city to clean up any of the collectible and miscellaneous trophies. Next game on my list is Shady Part of Me, which is a puzzle game. Basically nothing is missable because there is a chapter select available. With a guide the game can be completed within 3 hours, if you play the game without the guide or any help it can take up to 6 hours. Next one is Tokyo Dark, which is a side scrolling mystery themed visual knower. The game itself is super easy but there are a lot of missable trophies. But if you use a guide or a walkthrough it's possible to get the platinum within 5 hours. Next one is probably a must buy because it's just $2, the game is called Beast Quest. It's an adventure game with no missable trophies. Well there is a difficult related trophy you need to complete the game on Beast Master difficulty. But the game is very simple even on this difficulty as it is aimed at younger audience. All in one you should be able to get everything in less than 10 hours. If you like Final Fantasy but you don't want to spend 100 hours to get everything done then check out Final Fantasy Pocket Edition. The game is very straightforward and there's only one missable trophy called 10,000 needles. However the game is fun, good and not too hard and everything can be done within 20 hours. Next one is Rocky but please keep in mind this one is only available on PlayStation 5. The game is a pretty good adventure game but unfortunately the game has a lot of missable trophies. So if you want everything in one playthrough I recommend before you start the game check out a trophy guide. The next game is a bit older and is called Cube 2. This one is not very often on sale so probably now it's a good time to get it. It's a puzzle game with a few missable trophies. But there's already a full walkthrough available on YouTube which will show you to get everything in less than 3 hours. Next one is Big Trunk Satanic Massacre. It's a pretty straightforward top down shooter. Unfortunately there are few missable trophies but the game is very short, you can complete it in less than 4 hours. If you need help on some trophies there is a mini trophy guide available on PSN profiles. Next game on my list is Next Gen Sandbox. In this game you can create your own levers or your fun park or whatever you want. It's pretty fun because you can build up a lot of stuff. If you just want the platinum it's possible to get it within 20 minutes. If you need help I also have a full platinum walkthrough on my channel. The next game on my list is Masira which is a story driven puzzle adventure game. Basically nothing is missable because there is a chapter select. The game is very short and can be completed within 3 hours, maybe less. Riverbond is a game which I already mentioned a few times. But if you haven't already played it now it's a good time to buy it because it's only $2.50 and usually the game is $25. The game is easy, can be played couch corp, has over 50 trophies and one free DLC. And the game is fun to play. So I highly recommend if you haven't already give the game a try. And last but not least is the game Way Down. The game plays a mix of walking to places of interest and minigames. 
This one is a very easy and simple game, but if you still need help you can find the platinum walkthrough on my channel, which allows you to get the platinum within one and a half hour. To be honest, this one is not really good, so don't expect too much. So guys, these are my list for easy platinums you probably have missed. I hope there were one or two games you didn't know. If yes, let me know it in the comment section below. If no, let me in the comment section below. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.